So I feel like I have a very unpopular opinion when it comes to pre-workouts. I don't use it myself. I don't really recommend it for clients, especially if you are a beginner. And this video, I'm going to explain why. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jodie and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. For this video, I wanna talk about pre-workout, I'm not going to go into specific ingredients that would take forever, but this is just a general overview to help you decide whether you should take pre-workout or not. Now, the main reason most people think they need a pre-workout is to improve their performance in the gym. Now, if you looked at the role of the common ingredients in pre-workouts, this might be the case. Usually they will have two different effects on the body, one will be metabolic, so helping increase blood flow to your muscles, and the other will be neurological, so acting as a stimulant. Now, if you look at the ingredients on their own, do a Google search to see what action they have on the body, it looks legit because a lot of them do actually do what these supplement companies say they do. Now, what these supplement companies fail to tell you is you need a specific dose of the compounds, of each compound, to get that effect in your body. If you look up what the effective dose is, often that's not the same as what is supplied in the pre-workout. Your pre-workout can claim to do something and it can have that ingredient in it, but whether it actually has enough of it in there is the question that you need to be asking. And they can literally put the tiniest amount of an ingredient in there to just say that it's in there so that you think it's going to have an effect, but it actually doesn't and it's just a waste of your money. And you consider that the active dose of a lot of these compounds is three or four grams, and then a scoop of pre-workout on its own is three or four grams, maybe five grams, it's pretty impossible to actually be able to get the active dose of each ingredient listed in the pre-workout. You would have to be taking a much bigger scoop, and this is not me recommending you to go take three times the serving size or a huge scoop of your pre-workout. I just think don't bother taking it at all. Or if you want to, stay away from all the fancy pre-workouts that are just like, a nice tasting drink and actually take the single ingredients on their own. It's not going to taste nice. Like, do you want a nice drink or do you want to actually be taking something to really help you improve your performance in the gym? Now, a lot of you might be thinking, but I have pre-workout and it does help give me that boost of energy. I need to go train and have good workouts. I don't get that if I don't take it. That is the effect of stimulants. So having a coffee on its own would do the same thing. But the problem I have with this is you are conditioning yourself to then require stimulants to have a good workout. And because the body adapts to stimulants, over time, you're actually going to become deconditioned to it. So you're going to require more and more of it to get the same effect. So given all of that, I believe you are much better off learning how to have good workouts push yourself hard without needing anything. And it is possible. I have some of my best workouts going into the gym first thing in the morning without coffee, without pre-workout, without food even. The mind is really powerful. And if you can learn to control it and turn it on in the right situations to push yourself to that next level, then you're gonna be much better off. So why not learn to do that? rather than have to rely on something else. And lastly, my main problem with pre-workout is a lot of you aren't training properly anyway. A lot of you don't know how to push yourself hard enough in your workouts to get the results that you want and to even get any benefit like metabolically of taking those compounds in a pre-workout. So again, you're much better off learning to do that first. You're going to get better results. And then if you wanna take a pre-workout, go for it, but maybe think about what days you want to take it on. Don't take it every single day. Maybe don't even take it every single week. Take it at the times that you really, really do need that boost. Because remember, you are going to adapt to it if you're taking it every day, and then it's really not going to have 
much of an effect at all. That is all for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. If you liked it, please like it. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If that is the case, I will see you in the next video.